Hi everyone, Ben here from Sydney Fruit Gardening on a very windy day here in Sydney. Some exciting news, one of the reasons I started um, my tropical fruit garden was for this particular fruit which I'm going to show you today. I've finally got one which looks like it has ripened on the tree. It, it's overwintered uh, here in Sydney. It's come out the other side and has just started to colour up now. So I'll, uh, I'll flip the camera around and you can see what I'm talking about. So there it is guys, Relinia, here in Sydney. How good is that? It looks ready to me, it's somewhat soft. I reckon I might let it just ripen a bit more on the bench though. If I just quick, oh gosh my nails are dirty, there we go. There's some give to that. So yeah, it's um, it looks ready to me. Yeah, I might pick it and ripen it on the bench inside. I'll just get some scissors to cut it off. But truly, really exciting stuff. Um, I know this has been fruited already in Sydney. I know another guy who has done it. Um, um, but it's not really common at all. This is the tree at the moment. Completely bare, but it is already shooting out new growth and you can see over here there's already a new flower popping out there two new flowers even by the looks of it these um these fruit that are on the tree now were end of the season last year so just before it got cool you know these um I think it was about February or March, somewhere there, the tree flowered and it was actually flowering for longer than that, but I got fruit set around then. So this time around, I want to really aim to get earlier fruit set and just do some more hand pollination um, early in the season to try and get that, that fruit set and get the bigger fruit on the tree. Um, and ideally get them to ripen before winter hits. All right, I did have another fruit on my other tree over there. Um, and I might, I'll put a picture up now. The issue with that is that it's split uh, and I had to remove it before it split any further and it did not ripen off the tree, that particular fruit. So, yeah, but that's okay. The main thing is that these trees are now fruiting. So I will take this off the tree. I might give it a day or two and then I will um, cut it open and we'll see what we've got. Fingers crossed it tastes good. Often these kind of tropical fruits don't taste as nice when grown outside the tropics. Um, you know, they need that heat, but um, look, fingers crossed uh, that this still tastes pretty good. I rate this as probably my all time favorite uh, tropical fruit, so. Here's hoping, guys. All right, so there it is. Look, it's it's not huge, but um, yeah, it's pretty good for a first uh, first fruit, first effort of uh, this particular tree. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, hi everyone. So it's been a couple of days. I picked this millennia on Sunday. Uh, it's now Thursday. Um, uh, so we've had a couple of days for this to ripen up. Um, it has got a little bit softer, not a heck of a lot. And you will notice that it uh, you know, gets these kind of um, darkening of the, the spikes on the millennia. Um, uh, which happens when you handle it too much. So, um, so it is softening a little bit. Um, I'll see if I can bring this closer. So you can sort of see some some softening there. It doesn't smell. I'm not sure if it's meant to have a smell to it yet. Um, but uh, look, I thought I would cut it open and see what we've got. 
um, and give it a bit of a taste test for you. Right. Ooh, it does have a real lemony smell to it. Just going to show you what it looks like here. The seeds really haven't developed. Um, have a look at that. So the seeds just haven't developed, it looks like. Um, it is a smaller fruit, there's no doubt about that. It did come at the end of the season. Um, and it did overwinter here in Sydney. So, um, so yeah, we'll have to see what it's like. Okay, well, maybe I can just peel the skin back now. All right, I will say I'm not expecting much because first fruits, first fruits are not always the best. Uh, it did overwinter, so it didn't necessarily have all the heat to develop sweetness, but look, here goes. Yeah, a bit bland, guys, unfortunately. That's a bit of a disappointment. Yeah. So, look. These might need, um, might need the heat to, to really get that, that full flavour. Yeah, it's just just uh, sort of uh, flavourless um, flesh, to be honest. In some good news, though, look at these flowers that are coming on the relinear. It's just heaps of them. So I'm hoping that this year I can pollinate some flowers early in the season and that way maybe get some fruit that ripens uh, with more warmth and is overall going to be sweeter. I still have these two hanging on. They're a bit, they're really quite small. Funny shape one. So yeah, that's that for the Relinia guys. There's plenty more. I will do a tour of the full garden uh, shortly. Um, so for now, I will say I'll show you the other one very quickly. This one's starting to push out new growth as well, but uh, it's about probably three or four weeks behind where my other one is okay so bye for now guys